Google Chrome continues to be one of the most popular browsers in use. And while talking privacy, it's important to know that Chrome is not the most private browser available. If you really want to go big, uninstalling Chrome and choosing an alternative browser like Tor or Brave or Firefox or Puffin would offer increased privacy. But I also know that's not necessarily everyone's threat modeling. Lots of websites track you as you surf the web, or they can be malicious in nature. So how do you make Chrome more private and more secure for the average user? We use extensions and usually it's a mix of a few different ones to block ads and trackers, to surf and browse securely and privately, and protect you from viruses or malware. Extensions are usually safe, but I highly recommend reading reviews and checking for reputable developers before downloading any extension whatsoever. Extensions can be found in the chrome.google.com web store, and I will put a link directly down below to that web store in case you are interested. And you will notice that there are literally thousands of extensions to choose from. There's a lot. So this is my list of my top five tried and true extensions for privacy and security. Hey, s'mores, I'm Shannon Morse. Welcome to Morse Code. First, let's talk about uBlock Origin, which blocks ads and trackers. The interface shows you how many trackers are blocked on the page that you are currently on, how many domains are connected to that page, and how many ads or trackers have been blocked since it was installed. I have used Chrome and uBlock Origin as one of my favorite extensions. And so far, it has blocked, just for me personally, over 350,000 trackers since I installed it a few years ago. This is a great extension and it's free, but caveat, sometimes the trackers or ads it blocks are required by a website in order for that website to function correctly. For example, I was shopping on vans.com over the summer and the website was not loading right. It wasn't letting me click on specific things. It turns out the site required some trackers to work, so I had to disable uBlock Origin for that specific site. It is a very lightweight app. It uses very little resources, so I generally do not even notice that it's running in the background. Since blocking ads and trackers is the main thing that we want to protect against in Chrome for this video, here are a couple of alternatives as well. You don't have to use all of these simultaneously, but choose whichever one you prefer because each of them has some pros and has some cons. Ghostery is an alternative. This one is a paid service, but it is also open source and it does a great job of blocking ads and trackers. The other one I wanted to recommend is Privacy Badger, which is made by the EFF. This one differs because it only focuses on those third party trackers, which means that it may not block an ad if that ad is not tracking you. Privacy Badger is also really cool because it also sends do not track prompts to scripts and it's completely free. While we are on this very important subject of extensions in Chrome for privacy, keep in mind that there is a lot more that you can do to build a whole lifestyle approach to online privacy as well. That brings me to today's sponsor, who is Delete Me by Abine. Over time, using these extensions can help decrease the profile of data that websites collect from you every single time you visit them. But in the meantime, you can still take steps to decrease the amount of data that anybody could find, or what information is sold online from data brokers. I have used Delete Me for about five years now as a customer to keep tabs on data broker sites and make sure that whenever my data gets repopulated on those sites, it's removed as soon soon as possible. Delete Me is a part of my holistic approach to security and privacy because they keep checking back on those sites every three months to send opt-outs to data brokers and make it harder for my information to be used for phishing attacks. In fact, I will show you a screenshot. In my most recent report, they removed 15 listings of my information. They checked over 60 different data broker sites. They reviewed over 6,000 pieces of data to find anything that matched my identity and I did not have to lift a finger. I love Delete Me because they remove personally identifiable information or PII about you that could be used for social engineering or phishing or stalking or harassment, such as your name, your age, your address, 
physical address like where you live, your phone number, your email, and a lot more. It's one less thing that I have to stress over or worry about. Sign up for Delete Me and see how quickly your data starts getting removed from data broker sites by clicking the link down below the video. And thank you so much to Delete Me for sponsoring this episode. Next up is Malwarebytes Browser Guard, which is a free tool that not only blocks trackers and ads, but it can also identify and block tech support scams and in-browser malware as as well. An example is crypto jackers, which hijack your computer's resources to use them as a crypto miner. Browser lockers, which are used by tech support scammers to scare you into paying to unlock your browser. Now, while it is technically free, Malwarebytes is known to be kind of annoying about asking you to upgrade to a paid account. You don't have to, you can just use it for free, but the insistent pestering to upgrade can be a criticism. I personally am A-OK -okay with paying for a great service though, so do consider it if upgrading is within your budget. My third recommendation is IronVest, which is also made by my sponsor of that earlier portion of today's video, Abine. This one is really neat because it's a password manager, but it also can mask your email address and create virtual credit card numbers whenever you shop online. Now this one is a paid service if you wanna use the masking techniques, but I think masking is good because you can hide your actual email address behind a mask one, and you wouldn't have to give out your actual credit card number whenever you're shopping online, which can protect against digital skimming, which is called e-skimming. E-skimmers on websites are heavily used during the holiday months to steal credit card numbers. So now's the perfect time to be on high alert for these kind of attacks. Number four is a VPN extension. Now this one's kind of different because generally I do not use a VPN extension in my browser. Instead, I use a desktop app and a mobile app for my VPN, which in turn encrypts all of my data instead of just what's happening in my browser. So in that case, I tend to use ProtonVPN, which is not in the 14 eyes countries. It ranks really high in my opinion for privacy and security, but I wanted to include extension options anyway, in case this is your preference instead. There are a lot of VPN extensions to choose from. I don't trust all of them. A lot of folks though really like ExpressVPN or CyberGhost. My experience has also been really good with PIA VPN, which is Private Internet Access VPN for many years. So that's my recommendation for an extension. Since it gives me the ability to choose like specific countries to proxy through and the interface is really simple to use. Number five is a new one that you probably have not heard of yet, but if you have stuck around this long in this video, don't forget to click subscribe for more content like this. And also a huge shout out to my newest Patreon supporters, Josh and Noah. And huzzah to the generous giver Bazalkrin for the tip over on Buy Me A Coffee. Links to membership options are down below. All of them give you early access to videos before they go public. Okay, so that number five is a more recent life hack for Google Chrome. It's called Super Agent. You know how sites now ask you constantly to accept cookies with those little pop-up windows and you have to click accept or choose your preferences before it will let you do anything on the site. I have noticed that a lot of folks will just hit accept every time for everything and not create preferences for each site because it can take away valuable time. It's annoying. You get fatigue from clicking accept all the time, which often also means that you're giving websites the choice to track you with advertising cookies. So Super Agent chooses your cookie preferences for you and you can customize this in the extension as well, skipping the need for you to do the clicks on each site that you visit. It will automatically set those preferences for each site that you visit. It, it will go through and close that pop-up for you, in turn saving time and potentially giving you better privacy. It is really cool and I recently started using it and I have already noticed that it has saved me a lot of valuable time as opposed to having to go in and click preferences for every single website with all these cookies. Thank you GDPR, but also so annoying. Some other extensions to notate, which are also very important. You should be using a password manager. I really hope that you are. I did a video earlier this year listing my 
was it five or six? It was my favorite paid password managers. I did not include the free ones. Almost all of them have extensions to help with autofilling passwords and making your life more convenient and more secure. Another longtime favorite has been HTTPS Everywhere, which was also built by the EFF, just like Privacy Badger. But note that this extension is going to be sunset in January, 2023. Why is that, Shannon? Why are they sunsetting this beautiful and wonderful extension? It's because now you can turn HTTPS on by default in your Chrome settings. A couple of other ones that I like are DuckDuckGo. They offer a privacy extension and NoScript is a really cool extension for blocking scripts. So as I mentioned earlier, there are a lot of privacy extensions. If you just search for privacy extensions in the web store, it's kind of overwhelming. So if you also have a recommendation, leave it down below in the comments. I would love to take a look at other ones as well. Obviously I did not touch on all of them because I don't want this video to be an hour long, but I welcome your recommendations. Thank you so much for watching this video. Please do subscribe down below if you have not already and check out this video as well that YouTube thinks that you will enjoy next. I'm Shannon Morse, I'll see you next time. Bye y'all.